Welcome to this step-by-step -step Bluebell Woods acrylic painting tutorial, which is suitable for beginners. And guess what? I use a plastic bag and a plastic store card to do most of the painting. So it's a really fun painting to do. And if you're a beginner and you've got no drawing skills, I really recommend it. And if you like this tutorial and you'd like to see more like them, don't forget if you haven't already to subscribe to my acrylic channel so you don't miss out on any of my latest tutorials. So, shall we get started? A link for this photograph and a full list of materials along with Amazon links if you'd like to purchase any can be found in the description below. Just click show more. So I'm using a box canvas 10 by 12 inches and I've also made a stay wet palette and I'll put a link in the description below where I've made a video all about how to make a stay wet palette but basically it stops your acrylic paints from drying out. I'm using a flat a three quarter inch brush, a round brush and this is my plastic store card here, anything like that would be useful and all the drawing you have to do is just draw a line just below halfway. I'm using some cobalt blue here and just squeezing out some blobs. Um, you can just put this in your palette if you want, but it's fun to do. I'm using a little bit of magenta here as well to create sort of a bluey violet as I mix the colors using my plastic bag or just a sheet of very thin plastic like you would when you put your fruit and vegetables in the supermarket or anything like that very thin and soft um, I think I'm sure a plastic carrier bag will be just as useful I haven't tried that yet um, but I'm just lightly tapping now mixing the colors the pink and the blue but also creating lots of lots of texture so as I look at the photograph, I'm just trying to create the illusion of bluebells just by pressing and printing with this plastic. It's quite messy, so you might want to use some gloves, um, but I always just make sure I just wash my hands afterwards. The acrylic paint comes right off. I'm using a little bit of a light violet here. You can just make your own by adding some pink, blue, and a touch of white. I've also got a little bit of pink. It's just to vary the colors of the bluebells as the light falls on them and just makes them look more interesting. So the blue original paint is still wet underneath, so I'm dabbing away, trying to create lots of interest here. I think the pink is a little bit too strong I probably put a little bit too much on so I'm going to show you what I do to sort of resolve this so I'm just putting a little bit more of the cobalt blue back on and a little bit of white as well just to push back that pink just to make it more of a cooler color there you can wait for it to dry and do the same as well um, you can see it's quite messy but the plastic really creates some wonderful textures So I'm quite pleased with those bluebells for the moment. I haven't put any green on, that comes later, so don't worry. I'm just squeezing out a little bit of yellow. Any yellow will do. If you look at the photograph, it's really sort of spring light green colour. So I'm putting on the yellow first, leaving a gap at the top for the sky. Now I've got a fresh piece of plastic. Um, I'm not using the other bit. So recycling a little bit more plastic here and just tapping away with this lovely yellow. I have picked up by accident some of the bluebell colour, but don't panic if that happens. I'm just using some turquoise now. Any sort of blue will do really. It just creates a really nice spring green. So cerulean, Prussian blue, phthalo blue, primary blue, all those blues will create a lovely light green. And I will put a, a list of, of alternative colours in the description below as well. I hope you find that helpful. But I'm just putting all these lighter green colours here. So I'm working light to dark, really tapping away just to create lots of lovely texture for the foliage of these trees here. And uh, it's so much fun to do as well. I can't tell you, but a bit messy. <laughs>
as you saw there, I put some darker green on just using um, some of the um, blue with the pink mixed together. But you could actually mix blue and brown as well to make a darker green. So something like the Prussian blue and burnt umber make a beautiful dark green. So I'm applying some white and blue here and tapping it in with a fresh piece of plastic there. Um, I, th I felt it was too much texture actually. So I'm now I'm using my little round brush here and just sort of blending in some sort of deeper, darker blue at the top there. So just adding a little bit more blue. Try to stay away from any of the green and yellow because you might pick up a bit of green. I've just picked up a tiny bit there. So just be a bit careful. This is a fun bit to do now, all the paint's still wet. If you find your paint's drying out a little bit, just give it a little spray with a spritzer bottle, very fine mist, just to keep it from drying. And then I'm just using this card, plastic card, and just sort of moving it, sort of pressing it, and then scraping the paint from left to right. You can do it from right to left as well. But what happens is it sort of smears the greens, so it smears the um, bluebells colour, but you kind of, it lifts off the paint a bit to create some light and you can paint or lift off with this card different sizes of trees. So some larger, which I've just done there, some skinnier. The skinnier ones or narrow ones, try to sort of keep them nearer to the top of the horizon. That's where the, um, the background trees meet the bluebell woods and then the larger trees bring them down further into the bluebell. So it'll create a bit of depth. Um, in your painting without any drawing. How much fun is this? I've squeezed out some burnt umber here and put a little bit of the cobalt blue in there. And if you look at the photograph, the light is coming from the left. So try to keep all your shadows, which is what I'm painting with the plastic card. Everything is still wet. So I'm just putting the shadow on the right hand side of the tree there, just sort of um, buttering it on, <laughs> if that sort of helps describe what I'm doing here. And obviously with the thinner trees, just print it on to the right as well. More buttering with the larger trees here. Take your time with this and um, you may find it's drying a little bit as well. Um, but um, yeah, just keep printing away and enjoying it. I think I've got enough darks on there for now. So I've mixed up some white and raw sienna. You could use yellow ochre. Um, if you don't have any of those colours, you could just use some yellow pinch of red and some white. So it's more of an orangey colour and that should be quite nice. It's a lovely warm light on the left hand side or maybe just use some more white. And um, I'm just carefully printing here, um, trying to avoid the dark as well. But it's all right if it smears because you can sort of almost blend it in the middle as well.
I'm just adding some more darks here and there as well, just to build up the detail. But look at that, especially that tree on the left, the large one. I love the way the white, the um, raw sienna have all created sort of textures and marks just using this plastic card. It's so effective. And now I'm just sort of manoeuvring the paint, lifting off to create the look of lighter branches here and there, just to create this texture and detail. If your paint's dried out, don't worry. You can, uh, we are going to be painting some more branches later. But if it's still damp and you can lift it, go for it. And again, if your paint's still damp, I'm just using some scrunched up plastic bag again and just blending and sort of tapping in on the trees there to sort of soften some of those marks to create more texture like the bark of a tree. It's so effective. It works best on the larger ones. The smaller ones are a little bit fiddly, so don't worry too much about those. And as you can see here, I'm just sort of manipulating a little bit of the foliage there and the bluebells, just using some fresh plastic again and just creating a little bit more texture. She added a little bit of white um, to the cobalt blue and the magenta mixed together. And I've got a lighter sort of bluebell colour here, which I am printing wet on dry now and just having a little bit of fun building up the lights here. And just tapping very gently here with some white mixed with the violet. And it's so much fun using this um, plastic scrunched up because you get all these different marks. For years, I've been using sort of scourers and all sorts of different sponges. But this has worked out the best. I'm absolutely delighted with it. I wish I'd known it years ago, but, uh, you know, it's um, I know it now. And that's the important thing. And I'd like to share it with you as well. And I really hope you enjoy and get a chance to do this. It's so much fun, not just with Bluebell Woods, but lots of different areas of foliage and landscapes and things like that. So I'm mixing up some darker green here and I'm painting it at the bottom of the sort of the trees there that near the horizon. So it's a bit darker and it's a lot lighter on top there. The painting has dried and I'm, as you can see there, I've mixed up a mid green and a light green using the turquoise or a phthalo blue or a primary blue with some yellow, any yellow will do. And I'm just putting on some light and mid-tone grasses to really stand out um, from those bluebells there and make sure it's nice and opaque. You may need to do it a couple of times because some Sometimes the blue will be fighting through. So be patient. And also, if you want to make it lighter, you can just add a little bit of white as well. I decided I'd spatter some light violet colour. That's the cobalt blue with a touch of pink and some white. I've watered it down. I'm just spattering it on the horizon area where it's mostly light and a little bit in the foreground as well to create light and textures. And I've mixed up a little bit of burnt umber and I'm using a liner brush. Um, you can use a rigger or just a small round brush. And I actually added a little bit of cobalt blue there just to make it a bit dark. And I'm just painting in some of the dark branches. Don't feel you have to paint them all in. Just give that impression here and there of some of the branches. My painting is really coming to life now and I've half closed my eyes, looked at the photograph and there's almost like a blanket 
of light violet colour in the distance where the light has caught um, the bluebells. So I'm just using this small round brush and I'm stippling in wet on dry this light colour just on the horizon. It's almost like the focal point. And this is just really to finish off my painting here using and painting with the lightest lights. And to stop me from fiddling and overworking my acrylic painting, I am spattering this light lilac colour as well. I've just watered it down a little bit. It's easier to spatter. Just make sure that you've covered um, other items in your household that you don't want to get spoilt by dots of acrylic paint. So here is my finished painting. I'm really pleased with it. I really enjoyed painting it because of the plastic bag and the um, plastic card technique. It makes it effortless almost. And I really hope it inspires you to have a go. No matter what painting level you are, I think you're going to enjoy this one. And remember, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you'll get updates of my latest tutorials. And if you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comments section below. Even suggestions about future tutorials, I would love to hear from you. Thank you again for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.